Okay, so we've just got back to the Stark Future factory from being out testing all day and uh, during this video you might hear some bikes being uh, tested on the dyno in the background so, and uh, I'm here with um, with Kian Davashian, he's the chief engineer and he is leading the Stark Varg EX project and he's going to run us through some of the more technical aspects of the bike um, just to let you know that this bike really has its own identity of set, set us, setting it apart from the motocross model and um, yeah let's let's talk about the chassis uh, Kian because uh, it's definitely a lot more compliant and a more flexible feeling than than the motocross model can you sort of run us through that chassis yeah so we've made a few changes on the frame uh, um, compared to the MX model, uh, we've we've tried to make it a little bit more flexible, um, more suited for enduro riding. You know, getting more traction on the rear, more traction on the front, especially in rocky terrain. Um, on the rear shock mount, we've uh, changed the rear tubes, uh, the tubes here on the side. Um, this this gives the the rear of the bike a little bit more flex, and uh, also we're working on the front on the um, battery mount. Uh, there's a rubber bushing on there. We're we're working on different materials just to give it. A a little bit more flex. Yeah, I mean, I really noticed because I rode the motocross model around the enduro loop first, and as soon as I got on this uh, EX model, it just had that feeling of an enduro bike. Yeah, it just it, it was just it wasn't deflecting off the rocks in the roots. It was going really nicely through the trails, really nice to ride. Um, so yeah, like the, let's just run through the other major points of difference to the EX model over the motocross model. Yeah. So obviously, apart from all of the um, the components which we have to put on for homologation reasons, that being, for example, the lights, uh, um, other components, obviously, which, which we need for homologation. We've also worked, obviously, uh, chassis-wise, which we've just gone over. Suspension as well is important for us to get a really good uh, in, uh, enduro suspension setting. So we worked a lot on that. Then we've made other improvements, such as the, the chain guide. Um, this one's more reinforced, so obviously it's, it's better for enduro riding for rocks, roots, uh, you know, impacts in general. Um, we've developed a new phone, new dashboard and uh, a new docking station for this model. It's a completely new phone. It's developed um, uh, by us uh, with, with a partner. Uh, so it's pretty cool that uh, developed a, a phone for this bike. Uh, another innovation is um, we have internal routing of the cables. Um, so all, all of your cables um, can now go through the handlebar to the docking station here at the front. Yep. We have um, integrated indicators. Uh, this is a first, especially on an enduro bike. So we've, uh, they're, they're silicon over molded, uh, which is, is there to uh, prevent, uh, break it from impacts, you know, from hard uh, enduro riding. Uh, so yeah, integrated indicators. Um, we've got optional front and rear disc guards as well. So when you go to the checkout, you'll be able to um, uh, click that if you want. If you if you want um, disc guards, then then you add them to your to your order. One thing I was impressed about is there will be an option of five different tires. You can choose between tubes and mooses. Is that yeah. correct? Yep, yeah, that's right. So yeah, when you go to your checkout as well, you'll be able to choose your tire selection. So we've got on the front, we've got three options which is um, the Metella Medium, the uh, Michelin Enduro Medium 2 and uh, Pirelli uh, Rallycross and on the rear you'll have four options you'll have the Metella Medium, Metella Soft which is more for technical riding, uh, the Enduro Medium 2 and then the Pirelli, Pirelli Rallycross. Yeah. And uh, also yeah you'll be able to choose Mooses um, installed from the factory which I believe this is the first. Yeah that's pretty cool. And also you were talking uh, last night uh, about the wiring loom. Yeah. That's, that, that's uh, a, a so, pretty cool point. Yeah, it's a completely new wiring loom. Um, we've been working with a supplier, a new supplier, who does over-molded uh, connectors. So um, now the uh, wiring harness will be a lot better uh, quality-wise and also uh, waterproofness is greatly improved. And uh, also these are, the, the connectors are very small, which allows us to actually route the, the cables through the handlebar yep. without having massive holes on the handlebar, which is something obviously we can't have. The battery on this 
uh, EX is slightly bigger than the motocross. Yep, yep. So we've also improved range on the battery. It's now a 7.2 kilowatt hour unit uh, compared to the 6.5 kilowatt hour unit before. So yeah, we'll give you that extra range to be able to do your longer enduro rides. Yeah. So I mean, the the aim is around 130 kilometers. Is that the is that the benchmark? Or? Um, yeah, we, we don't really look at it in kilometers, yeah. we look at it in more riding riding time. Okay. Um, so our previous uh, battery, you, you could go say endure riding up to six hours, so now we expect even longer. Okay, yeah, because I mean different terrain, it changes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, I really, I really love the way you've integrated the, the rear tail light there. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a great look. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just finished off beautifully and it really is a nice, nice bike to ride. I think you've done a great job and yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you. It's been Thank great. you for coming. Yeah, cheers.